So here are the dolls that I got today in the mail. This one is Amped Up Frankie. Here she is in box. Her box is really cool. It has a lot of details. Like around and also has like a spider web over there in the corner. She has this big like print. Not, it's not a print. It's just It just says like the name and the line. But I definitely will keep that. Her hair is super... Their hair is super long. Uh, Frankie also comes with a lot of accessories. Guitar. I think they might be from the same like line as the his fits because they're dressing like similar type of like like music type of outfit so yeah she also uh, frankie also comes with this bag and then the back of the box is really cool too so my mom um got me scott meet secrets series one laguna for christmas because i had given her some links of some dolls that I wanted and she would pick one for me and but I forgot that I had already bought that one from my friend so when that doll arrived I realized it so I told my mom and she's returning it so instead she got this one for me and it was even cheaper because it was 31 so yeah so here's Frankie and then I might keep her in box for a while because I low-key really like this box it's really cool looking. So I might keep her in box for a while to savor it. Uh, if not, like, and also when I unbox her, I'm definitely going to keep this, the back, maybe even the front. Because I've been keeping the front of the boxes because I might use it like I did here, like to protect my shelves. Maybe I'll even keep this too. And then uh, I had a gift card that I redeemed with an app that I have. And I had $20, 25 Canadian Amazon uh like gift card for amazon canada and i bought i didn't like i had several things i could have bought but i ended up buying skeleta holiday skeleta and uh, she was 50 total with taxes was 50 bucks and i only had 25 so like the other no she ended up being 55 wait because i paid 30 33 bucks out of my pocket so she ended up being more than 50 with texas but yeah so she's there and i already have holiday claudine and i already have the other holiday dolls up there so i'm gonna have to uh unbox her i'm not le taking her out of the box though because all the other ones are in box i just will have to find a spot for her which might be rough because i'm i don't have that much space and then uh yesterday i got these two monster high dolls because they were on sale um so laguna monster ball laguna was 28 yesterday in the last few days too but today she's 27 but yeah so that kind of sucks i could have gotten her a dollar cheaper her box it also has like a different design too like a spider web here and there this this i'm definitely gonna keep it to the front this part and then the back too it's a bit open on the side but that's fine i'm already supposed to get cleo and claudine from the same line from my friend so yeah and uh i might i don't know if i'll unbox her today I don't know, because I kind of want to keep them in box for a while. Because I kept my other G3 in box to, like, savor them being in box. Because they look cool in box. But after a while, I get I get kind of like, okay, I think I'm ready to unbox them. So that's what I did the other day. And then I also got yesterday Fair Descent's Cleo because she was also on sale. She was 31. Uh, so here she is. Uh, I still... Um... Wait. Is that... <clears throat> Wait, that Dracula is also fearlessant. I think at some point it's kind of hard. Like I mix up the lines. I don't have Sculpt Me Secrets Series One Dracula, but I that one's Sculpt Me Secrets Series One Cleo. So this one is C Series Two. Uh, eventually, I want to get the other ones from Fearlessant too, and then I got Neon Frights. Twyla and Draculaura from Amazon.com because they were cheaper there and Twyla is not available on Amazon Canada and then Draculaura was available but then she wasn't so it just ended up being cheaper there. I hope to buy Gulia hopefully if I find her. 
because we don't have her on Amazon Canada anymore and she's not on Amazon.com either so it might be hard to get her and then Frankie she's on Amazon Canada and she was cheaper just that I can get all the dolls because like already these two I shouldn't have gotten yesterday because I'm broke now and uh, I don't know why but this uh, came off so I'm gonna have to try to put it back these two I'm definitely gonna unbox obviously because it's just the locker you know like I'm gonna cut this part of the box and the back and uh yeah but uh i'm gonna make a video showcasing or maybe n i'm gonna do a video unboxing these two but i don't know if 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 i have enough time in this video i'll like go through what they have uh like but through the box you know like what they come with and stuff um and then once i unbox them i'll make another video maybe i don't know because I only have 10 minutes on TikTok to post, to, like, make a video, so. Okay. Let's see. This holiday. <clears throat> I'm still waiting for Draculaura Neon Flights. And I think that's pretty much it uh, that I'm waiting for, for dolls. For now. Because I definitely want to try to catch up as fast as I can before, like, new dolls start to come out. Today we also got the, um, the new pictures for all the Scott Made Secrets Wave 4 Monster High dolls. Like, Abby, uh, uh, Torlai, Draculaura, and Cleo, if I'm not mistaken, it was. So, putting this there. Hopefully we got a good face. Yeah, uh, I feel like there's so much empty space over here. That's the first thing I noticed. I feel like these boxes are too big for nothing. The box is cool, though. I think this is my favorite box so far. I feel like it's pretty simple compared to, like, for example, Cleo's box. Or the new, like, Cleo and the, the new Drac and Claude box. The design is cool. But I feel like these could be lower. And I wish these on the side... Like, it could still have this, right? But then here... I wish it was clear than having a pattern because it just you can't see the doll like that. So here's Kalita Calaveras, Dia de Muertos. Uh, uh, Dia de Muertos begins in the scent of Pan de Muerto, fills the air, warm and sweet as I arrange a traditional marigold headpiece in my air in my hair. Mi mami puts the finishing touches on my Dia de Muertos gown, which is strewn with monsters marigold and sugar skull details oh well my butterfly natty flutters around the papel picado once mi familia gathers it is time to visit the ofrenda and celebrate our rich heritage i hold abuelita's hand and descend on, upon a candlelit pathway with my dress dancing in the flickering light and my corazón bursting with love for all those i'm about to honor so here she is. This is the sides. But you see, like, in the top, it's clear. So why is it not clear from, like, the sides, too? And then it has all these skulls and butterflies and flowers and candles in the front. Here she is with her um, yellow flower crown with skulls. She has, like, three bracelets in each arm. A pink necklace. Her hair is, is black and, like, green. And then she has this, the top is like black and like gold detail and sparkles and then a gold belt. And then her skirt is black and has purple and pink ruffles, like pink tulle. She has yellow and brown shoes. And then her skirt also has like skull, uh, skull details and butterflies and flowers and cobwebs. And then there's her stands and then the back. Oh, the box looks like it's like um, an, an offering. Oh, that looks like the thing from her art class. Skeleta. That's cool because I have that. It's that. That's really cool. <clears throat> so, yeah. I'm going to put her side by side with the other ones most likely because I'm running out of space. Uh, For <clears throat> Monster Ball Laguna. It seems like I got a really good face oh it seems like she has a little something there hopefully i can scrape that off she has this like thing reminds me of pirates of the caribbean 